My name is John Cedar, and it's my honor to tell you about the Artificial Kidney Prize Phase II recently launched by Kidney Ads. I'm a physician in the Department of Kidney Medicine at the Cleveland Clinic and honored to be chair of the Kidney X Steering Committee. 37 million people in the U.S. have kidney disease. Almost 40% of U.S. adults over age 65 are living with chronic kidney disease. Kidney diseases are the eighth leading cause of death in the United States. The take home message is kidney diseases are common, they are serious, and they are constantly costly. Not only in the economic burden levied on the healthcare delivery system, but more importantly, in the toll of kidney diseases and their current treatments extract from kidney disease patients, both in terms of poor health and limited capability to follow their aspiration. Patients tell us the care as usual is not tenable, and there's an enormous opportunity to translate advances in science and technology, similar to what's occurred in oncology and cardiology, into innovations that improve the lives of people with kidney diseases. I'm involved with Kidney X because Kidney X is an important cog in the enterprise to achieve these goals for the patients that I see every day. But simply put, we want to de-risk innovation. We want to move products to market that will help our patients. And Kidney X uses prize competitions as our tool to meet this goal. I'm Elazar Elman. And I'm honored to be a part of the steering committee of Kidney X. This is important to me. It's important because as a acute intensive care unit cardiologist at Harvard Medical School and the Brigham and Women's Hospital, I treat people with kidney disease. As a director of MIT's Institute for Medical Engineering and Science, I investigate kidney disease. But really, I speak to you as someone whose family has been beset by all the frustrations and tragedies of kidney disease. And so the bioartificial kidney is important to me. Regenerative medicine, cell and tissue engineering, synthetic and systems biology has offered so much to an array of patients and clinicians. New materials, new devices, new concepts in how we deal with organ and cell transplantation. And now we'd like to do the same for kidney diseases. Phase two will devote $10.5 million in two tracks. The first track to those who have devoted their lives to bioartificial kidney research, and the second to those who we want to attract to the field. Track one, which we've labeled accelerating the prototype of a bioartificial kidney, is directed to those who have a clear cut mark, demarcated milestones to advancing to first in human trials. Track two, is for those who possess ideas, concepts, know-how, materials, components, and tools that will enable that march to succeed and progress at a better pace. Regenerative medicine has great potential, but above all, as one whose family suffers from this disease, it offers great hope. And we hope you will take advantage of this prize to come together with our community to address the community of people who suffer from kidney diseases. Hi everyone, my name is Vanessa. I am a 25 year dialysis veteran. I am excited about the future and I am excited about innovations that can allow me to live a life untethered. That would mean that uh, I don't connect to a machine daily. That would mean that I don't have to take a machine with me when I travel to go on vacation or for work. That would mean that I don't need to accept supplies here at my house. Any kind of innovation, I think, needs to be sure that it's safe and that it's reliable before we actually go out and work with the patient community. When you consider doing a new innovation, consider asking not only the patients, but their families, and perhaps even putting together what we call a PAB, a patient advisory board, where you have a group of dedicated patients and their care partners 
They really want to listen and help you understand what is the patient thinking, how is that going to affect the family, and kind of all the challenges and barriers that they might perceive that you as an innovator really just might not think about. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. I know you can do this and we're ready and waiting for you. Kidney X is audacious. We're looking for paradigm shifting approaches to treatment and management of advanced kidney diseases, which in AKP2 will use tools of regenerative medicine, systems biology, synthetic biology, and cellular engineering. We're hoping to see solutions that we have not even conceived of. As Eleanor told you, Track One is looking for solutions that will accelerate generation of an artificial kidney prototype. What we're really interested in that we will have proposed solutions that achieve critical kidney disease function safely and continuously. We're hoping that the submissions demonstrate novel applications of regenerative medicine, cellular engineering, systems biology, and synthetic biology sciences that will help in the development of a functional prototype bioartificial kidney. Of course, the application should include feasibility and proof of concept data, which demonstrate the solution will make meaningful advances towards a bioartificial kidney that can be tested in animals, move to first in human studies, and ultimately clinical trials. Patient input in your application is critical and should be actively sought. Applications should also describe future critical milestones, timelines, and collaboration. Track 2 is similar, but is specifically seeking components or tools that will enable the development of an art artificial kidney. The submission should identify a barrier in the development of an artificial kidney platform and describe how an enabling tool or solution created using the domains of science I've already outlined will overcome this challenge. Similar to phase one judging criteria, the application should include feasibility and proof of concept data that demonstrate that a functional component will be developed. Non-U.S. citizens or residents or non-U.S. incorporated entities or places of business are eligible to apply and may be eligible for certain monetary prizes. Uh, we are encouraging applications from everywhere. We need to work together to transform treatment of kidney diseases. By submitting your innovation to AKP2, you're helping advance kidney medicine and achieve an improved quality of life for the 850 million people worldwide and 37 million Americans living with kidney diseases. For full competition rules, regulation, and judging criteria, go to kidneyx.org backslash AKP.